Now, some food banks in Milwaukee could actually run out of supplies if this shutdown continues. Lacey Crisp has that part of the story. And one place you may not think that would be affected by the government shutdown are local food pantries. But if they don't get federal commodities, they could run out of food. Without this food pantry, I wouldn't have anything to eat. Without the help of this food bank on Silver Spring, Wanda Taylor doesn't know where she'd get her next meal. That supply could be at risk if the government shutdown lasts for very long. They're not thinking about us to people that really need it. Sherry Tosler runs the Hunger Task Force, the place that supplies local food banks. How will this impact you? Uh, we'll stop receiving government commodities starting October 15th. Commodities are food the government buys from farmers and gives to local food pantries. Tosler is planning on three semi-loads of fruits, vegetables, and beef stew on the 15th. Hunger Task Force gets about a third of its food from the federal government. It's important to have a plan because last time the federal government shut down, it lasted for like three weeks. And if it does last again for that period of time, we're going to see interruptions. Which is why Taylor hopes the shutdown doesn't last long. There's a whole lot of people going to be suffering. And well, nationally, the Women, Infant, and Children program won't get any more money. Here in Wisconsin, they have enough money to last a couple of weeks. Reporting in Milwaukee, Lacey Crisp, today's TMJ4.